Let's go. A company that gets it. John Chambers, CEO. Right around the late 90s, guess what was happening? Cisco was the darling of Wall Street. I took my company public as well. So we're sitting there, we're like, yeah, Cisco, driving $86 a share. In less than six months, their stock price plunged to $11 a share. John Chambers had to fire over 3,000 employees. He had to get rid of hundreds of products, and he had to get rid of that 100-year-old 20th century industrial age model and flatten everything and make it more democratic. Speed is the 21st century model that we have to be under. Ideas have to move faster. What he did is he created autonomous networks that could make decisions without him being there. And they took it to the next level, speed. And that's why we're doing it right here. Because a great idea can come from anywhere. One of you in this room is gonna come up with a great idea in the next month. I'm gonna show you how to get it there, how to get it into fruition, how to take action with it. My favorite quote, hell, there are no rules here. We're trying to accomplish something. How many of you used to work for companies that if you played ping pong in the middle of the day, you could get fired? Put your hand up, don't be afraid, right? Trust. This is your playground. This is your playground. It's been built for you. For the first time in history, you have a company that cares about you individually. The great ideas that you're going to bring to the table. Because a great idea can come from anywhere. Any time and any place. Any age, any behavior, any background, any country. And we need to get them out into the forefront fast and quick. How are we going to do that? First, we have this environment here. This is awesome. How many of you are really enjoying working here? If you did not put your hand up, you are on camera. <laughs> What could make your work experience better? Anybody, throw it out. Shorter commute. Shorter commute. Do you hear that cackle down there? <laughs> what are they piping this into other rooms? <laughs> what else? Would you want to have access to your boss more? We were taught for years that when you earned your place in a corporation, you got a corner office. That is a status symbol of the 20th century and no longer valid. Today, the status symbol of the 21st century is what is the skill set you're bringing to the table and what teams are you working with. What cool ideas are you bringing forth, new and fresh? The reason you have pool tables and foosball tournaments and all these cool events and you have me standing here talking to you is because in every company, when the anxiety is really high, the creativity is low. Everybody runs around out of fear, scared. Some of you, are afraid to go to the pool tables and the ping pong and all this and partake of it. It's scary because you were trained not to do that. I'm a boomer, I know. I've been fired a few times. <laughs> I'll admit it. We're in a different environment now because guess what? Now, the anxiety is low, so the creativity will go high. Because without consistent creativity, you have no innovation. And without any innovation, guess what? You don't have a leadership position. And that's what we're doing here. A little nonsense now and then is relished by the wisest men. Generation X is like Sweden, right in between. You're really great 
If you're Gen X, guess what? You're really, really great at seeing boomer behavior and Gen Y behavior, and you're very good at mediating. If you have a Gen X person on your team, I suggest that you put them in charge of problem solving between those generations. Behavioral and communication issues. They are like the middle kid, man. They know exactly how to speak the language to the right group or the right individual. Gen X, I've found, has the two traits in them. They have boomer traits where they like tradition, they like value, but they may not know where they fit into the context of everything. But they also have technology skills as well. A little bit of linear, a little bit of digital. A little bit of analog, a little bit of digital. These companies are doing things that are great. It's very similar to what you're doing here at MasterCard. They flatten the hierarchy. They're starting to listen to customers and employees and change the tone of the way we do things. Cadillac. My grandfather lost his mind when he hit 65. He wanted a Cadillac. So he got white patent leather shoes, started wearing khaki pants and wearing a golf hat. We lived in the middle of Pennsylvania, but he was dressed like it was Florida all year round. He was, I'm going golfing, yeah. The big thing he always wanted was Cadillac. Cadillac was a status symbol once you hit a certain age. It was your grandfather's car, right? Well, my grandfather wanted a Cadillac so bad he didn't care how he got it, so he bought a beat up used one. And the electrical kept failing. We couldn't get out of the car sometimes <laughs> because it's all electric. The Cadillac brand suffered from being grandpa's car. Well, guess what they did? They decided, we're going to change things. They hired a 28-year-old marketing expert to come in. She started showing people, this isn't your grandfather's Cadillac, and started showing these incredible commercials where it's like, mm, that car moves. Sales are up 37%. New ideas, new ways of displaying things. Coming up with the next big One idea. more, Atlassian. They're down in Australia and New Zealand. They are a software company. They do management software. And guess what they do? Once a month, on a Thursday, employees go home, and the teams work virtually to come up with new ideas, new products, things that will save them money. They've had hundreds of software fixes because of this, and they've also come up with hundreds of new products because of this. <coughs> this works. It just feels uncomfortable at first because we've all been taught to hide in our office. A good employee walks around and obeys certain things. That isn't the kind of environment we have now. We have an environment of change, of innovation, of creativity. And these are the companies that did not get it. If you want to be a part of the 21st century, you've got to keep up. You've got to reinvent what you're doing. And you have the chance to do that here. This is your playground. MIT does this. They have a great hall that runs through every single department. They do that because they hope that somebody in the chemistry lab will run into somebody from the biology lab, they'll have a discussion, and they'll make a breakthrough in biochemistry. That's why you have this awesome cafeteria up here. That's why you have the pinball. We don't have pinball yet, do we? We need to call up duty. Conversation suite. We've got everything here to do it. So let's do it. Breakthrough ideas start with you. Each and every person here. You should be excited. You should be jazzed to work at a company that cares about your ideas. I've worked at companies where as soon as I open my mouth, as soon as I tell the truth, you lose your job. You're not in that kind of environment anymore. Without consistent creativity, there is no innovation. And if you don't like that quote, I like this one. The illiterate of the 21st century will not be those that cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Thank you, Marcy. You bet.
new customer is rising, along with a new workforce, and today's younger leaders will be tomorrow's decision makers. Time to reinvent yourself and your business for the information age. If you are interested in booking Brad Zollis as a keynote speaker for your next event or to schedule a generational workshop summit or even our ongoing consulting packages, send an email to info at liquidleadership.com or go to www.liquidleadership.com. Thank you. We look forward to hearing from you.